the Morgue Party Candidate. Antonio, how wonderful to see you! What's going on? We're having a party, dear boy. A party. Yes, a morgue party. The first of the season! Whoa, 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 whoa. what the fuck are you talking about? A morgue party. We're gonna have quite a night tonight. But first, we need to go and pick up the guests. Come, before our guests get bored to death. No pun intended. Because they're dead, you know. Our guest of honor is taking a little trip to the pathology labs. So let's not keep him waiting. Alright, here we go, let's begin the mission. Now, the morgue party candidate basically means that we just need to go and steal a hearse. And the hearse is kind of driving around Liberty City. It's really, really easy to do, um, as long as you get to it in time. But so far, Hang on. only one candidate has stepped forward to replace Mayor R.C. Hull. Businessman Miles O'Donovan has pledged that should he win, his first act will be to bring a swift end to the industrial action that plagues the city. Tune in for more, later on LCN. Wait! Please stop calling the show! This is Chatterbox. Okay, so there's just news there telling me that the mayor has been assassinated. And that's what I love about this game. You do something like major in this game and it shows up. And it's on the radio, that's what makes it so cool, I think. Alright, let's go and get this hearse now. Um, as I said, we have to get to it before it reaches its final destination. So, all we've got to do is bash it up a bit. And hopefully the driver will bugger off. And then once he does that, we can steal the hearse. The problem is, though, the police are alerted. But it's not too bad because we're right near a pain spray. So, it's a fairly simple mission, to be honest. Now, don't do what I'm doing now. <laughs> it's just I just threw a grenade. I was like, oh, I'm bound to hit it. But I don't think it actually did anything, personally. So we need to chase it. So let's pop in the taxi. And let's try and get to it before anything else happens. So as I said, you just ram it a few times. I've no idea where it's going. Probably to the funeral home. But Donald needs it for his party, apparently. So, so it looks like it's a party of two. God knows what the dead body is <laughs> who knows whether it's a man or a woman I don't know it's very weird but I do find Donald Love quite an interesting character right okay so now we've scared the driver we can now pop in the hearse like so and um, we need to get to the pain spray before we can go to Donald's garage so that's a requirement of the mission and it's a good requirement to be honest because it's absolutely essential I don't fancy going to his lock up with the police chasing me because it would just be way too hectic so you just got to be quick enough to, to get there as you can see um, the police don't take too kindly to dead bodies being stolen so look at this just the police just pushed me down an alley but we're right here, we're right at the pain spray, so let's just get in there and get it done. Oh, right, and this should get the police off my back. There we are, fantastic. Now we just got to drive to Donald's lockup. Now we've got the police away from us. We can just calmly do this mission in our own time. It's kind of what I like, I mean, my god. Police make this mission utterly impossible sometimes, but it is achievable. Okay, so his lockup is not that far away, it's literally just straight ahead. You can see it on the map, it's the little yellow dot. And just like <laughs> some of the funny things about this game, like the radio stations and stuff and the different personalities, that's something that always makes me laugh. Do you know, one day I'm just gonna like play this game but not do anything and just listen to the radio and just see what happens because that's something I don't think I've, I've done before it will be interesting to hear what they say okay right, okay. Let's see. I kind of have a little bit of trouble finding it at first it's, it's right, I think I've just gone past it actually, um, where is it, so it's, it's in the vicinity of this area, so it's, 
it's not straight ahead. It looks like it could be, but it's not. I don't think. I don't know. Is it? It's not those stats, so it's not there. It's oh okay. It's just here. It's like a little sort of corner. And there we go. Drive into the garage. Alright, so we've got to go and see Salvatore again now um, to do a mission, and this one's kind of a boat chase. Uh, this one's a lot of fun. It's very easy, um, although it can get very hairy um, if your shooting isn't good, because yeah, this is going to be a shooting mission. We have to shoot down um, a lot of people in this. Um, you do have a damage meter as well. So you need to watch that and make sure that you're uh, you're going to be okay. Because if the meter goes up too much then... Nope. Oh, that's what really annoys me. They won't even touch that car. That's frustrating for me. Okay, so they're not going to not gonna bother with that one. But anyway, let's go and save the game now. As you can see, uh, this is edited because I did try to do the church mission, but that's where I got the car from. So if you saw a cut and you're thinking, oh, how did you do that? That's why, basically. All right, let's pop in here. Let's save the game. Don't know why I've got the chainsaw, right? And there we go. Let's save that and we can crack on with the final mission. Well, the final mission of this set of videos anyway. All right, come on, Tony. Let's do this. As I said, I've got enough guns and stuff to keep me going. Uh, I just want to be well prepared because. Uh... Oh, here we go. Tony Cipriani here. Tony, it's your ma. I just heard you've been made. I never doubted you for a second, son. And seeing as how you're finally proving yourself, I'm cooling off that contract they put on you. Let's just put it behind us. After all, I only did it with your best interest at heart. Ah, uh, what kind of a son makes his ma go to such lengths? See you soon, son. Don't forget about your old ma. Yeah, there you go. Sorry about that. It's repeated. Um, it's just because, as I said, I, I died a few times. I tried to do the pre so I've had to edit this video as best as I can. So that's why the Ma speech is repeated and the outfit things repeated. So it's difficult, to be honest, because um, I try multiple attempts. So I always just try to, you know, keep everything consistent, but sometimes that's not always possible. So here we go, let's go and see Salvatore now, down at the docks, and uh, do this mission. This mission's really fun, I don't mind saying. It's absolutely brilliant. Any mission where I'm shooting on this, and it's kind of on the rails, is is really good. I can't remember too many missions like that in Grand Theft Auto 3. I don't know if I ever did any. I'm sure there probably are, but I just, for the life of me... <laughs> Non, non, really. Oh, apart from the boat, there were some boat missions I had to do for a suka, wasn't there? There was that voyeur, voyeuristic reporter, or, or something like that. I tell you what, Salvatore is very difficult to find. It looks like he's at the edge of everything. Right? Okay. This is where we need to. We got to be careful here because we're literally on the edge. So I need to get down onto the dock very carefully because I don't want to fall in the water right and here we go caught in the act Tony up in where are we going we're going to have a little chat with the mayor's assistant about Franco Ferrelli You're coming with me. 
You can't do this! Hurry it up, the Secret Service will be watching! Okay, so we've just got to follow Sal's instructions. Now, I'm not a very good shot, by the way. Um, as long as you kind of shoot a few of them, you'll be alright. You'll be able to get through. Even though my meter goes up, like, considerably, you can still kind of get through it. It took me a while to adjust to the actual aiming and stuff. So, that's why. But you need to shoot kind of the main things that are chasing you, particularly that boat. There's also a helicopter as well, which is the last thing that you kind of shoot, so... As long as you can consistently take out those main things, I think you'll be alright. So it's just hard to, like, to aim anything here, you know, because you've got to do it manually. And I'm just crap. So there's nothing wrong with the, system, the aiming system, it's just because I'm really rubbish. There you go, see that? It got better. It just took me a while to kind of click into it. So I'm just trying to shoot enough people, but... I never feel that I've got enough time to do it because it just rushes by so quickly. But look at that, I've blown up the boat straight away. So it's like things like that, you just got to kind of think quite quickly. And I blow up this boat. Hopefully, come on, come on. Yes, there you go. Try and shoot these guys. Oh, cutscene, cutscene. There you go. Right, and there's like a boat here with men on it and I think there's like another chopper or a chopper I don't know if there's one right where is it there it is so you need to take that chopper out straight away as quickly as you can because it is a hindrance that's the final thing you need to take down once you take it down you'll be fine trust me but just keep on it keep on it do not let it breathe do not let it breathe there you go boom blow it up jobs are good and Mayor wouldn't take a ship without Franco say so. Nobody owned the mayor. Oh. Ah, wait, you're right. It's those Sicilians. They put Franco into it. The Sicilians? Why? They own Franco, and they want a war between the Liberty families. When the dust settles, they're coming to take over. And there you go, mission pass, so simple as that. So, might as well head on over to the save room now and just save the game. And then in the next set of videos, I'll try and do some more for Donald Love, I think. Um, or whoever pops up on the map. Um, I might try the priest, I don't know, I'll see how it goes. As I said, I'm just kind of doing little bits and bobs just to get through the game, really. As I said, um, I want to try and do as much as I can, so we'll see how it goes, really. Okay. But my, as I said, my main aim is just to get through this, just to complete it, really. I mean, it's been a goal of mine. Like, like GTA 3 was a goal of mine to actually complete that. So, you know, I did everything apart from the last mission without cheating, so I was quite impressed with myself, to be honest. And I've sort of... I've gone ahead in time and I've checked out the final mission on YouTube and stuff and even that on this game isn't too difficult so that looks achievable. Oh there's a gun there, we'll take that. That'll come in useful. There we go, lovely. So yeah, I think it's wholly achievable this game. Alright. And then I don't know what I'll do after this, I might may even do the very first one, possibly. Because I do own that, and I think I own the second one as well. So, you know, that will be um, compared to this. I think far easier <laughs> than what I've got to deal with, but very involving as well. I think I just love the evolution of the of the series. To be honest, right? Let's go back to. In fact, what I might do. I was going to say I'll go to ammunition. I think I'll just stock up on items for next time that'll be the best thing to do so let's pop in here there we go and we'll just pick up some items now the AK 
So yeah, I definitely need more goodies. I definitely need some more armor. So just so I'm fully stocked up for next time. And there we go. So all that's left to say is thank you very much. This has been Lucas Macintosh. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out my retro play channel and my videos. If you enjoyed this video and my other subsequent videos on this channel, then why not subscribe? Because that way you will be instantly notified every time I upload new content. And I've got new videos coming each and every single week. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch one of my videos. As I said, it really means a lot to me. Every comment, every view, every like, I, I see it and I, I just want to say thank you so much, you know. And next time we're going to be hopefully doing some more missions for Donald and hopefully Salvatore who will pop up on the map as well. So let's just get in, let's save the game. Okay, let's just pop over here. Boom. Alright, and save the game. So there you are guys, thank you very much and I'll see you next time, take care.